here off the beautiful sun coast of Manatee County, both residents and tourists could agree that just about any day is a perfect day for the beach. And while the water may look inviting, it's important to know that there can be dangers below the surface. 95% of Manatee County's water rescues are related to rip currents. When you're caught in a rip current, if you're not saved by a lifeguard or saved by somebody else, statistics show that uh, it usually ends in a tragedy. Florida ranks number one for rip current depths, and rip currents can happen anywhere. They're extremely common. Um, we have them on our beaches many days of the year. Most, most misconceptions about rip currents is that they're wide and they're huge. Most of them aren't. Most of them are 10 yards wide to 20 yards wide and that's it. And then they're 50 yards long. You'll feel a rip current as it pulls you offshore. You'll feel it pick up speed as it's closer to shore, the strength. As it goes further away from shore, you'll feel that rip current start to weaken. And all of a sudden you'll, you'll see yourself to where you're not, you're not traversing further away from the shoreline. At that point, it's safe not to swim back into the rip current, but swim either at a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle parallel to the beach, 15, 20 yards, and then swim in. Never try to fight that rip current back to shore. When you do, you're swimming against a current that is five to 10 knots. It's hard for anyone to keep up any kind of a swimming capability against that current. But before you even enter the water, here are some things you can look out for on your local beach. Always swim on a lifeguarded beach. We have lifeguards at Manatee Beach as well as Coquina Beach. It's important for safety. It's important for the fact that, that there's someone that sits in that tower every day and knows the conditions that exist. There's someone there that can help you with directions. There's someone there that can help you with first aid. Uh, all of our staff are trained EMTs. We're all rescue divers. On each and every tower, we have a flag flying every day. And uh, there is a chart that is posted on the base of each tower so that they can come up and reference that to know the conditions of the day. Know your ability, know how strong of a swimmer you might be, know the water conditions, make sure you're aware of what the conditions are of the day, and take a good look at the surf. If the surf is rough, there are gonna be rip currents. If it's a calm, flat day, chances are there are no rip currents. So remember, when you're visiting Manatee County's beautiful beaches, always swim near lifeguarded stations. And parents should always be nearby when children are in the water. For more information on how to keep you and your family safe while visiting the beach, log on to mymanatee.org slash beach safety. And to find out about current beach conditions, including if there's rip currents at your beach, go to colgate.mode.org slash beach conditions.